Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, feel free to suggest anything down below that you would love us to react to. Uh, anything of your choice, we're more than glad to react to your suggestions. A big shout out to our OG supporters. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Everything that you guys do is really, really appreciated. So thank you. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to what is this sister is this a joke um Sheikh Asim Al Akim Fatwa so without wasting time let's get into the video I have a very urgent question so um uh, my grandpa used to not pray in the past and we know that like if a person does not pray at all he um, it's counted as a kafir, but now he prays alhamdulillah um, But my mother doesn't know whether um, when my when her grand when my grandfather who's her father She doesn't remember whether he was praying at the time where she got married to my father or not So I'm worried um, because a kafir cannot count as a, a as a wali of a woman So I'm worried whether their marriage in, is valid and whether I'm attributed to my father now what is this? Is this a joke, Dima? Now you are cascading things that are way above your pay grade. And this indicates a grave error <clears throat> in the way people think. So my grandfather did not used to pray. But now he prays, alhamdulillah. So we know that he is a kafir. No, you don't. Who labeled him as a kafir? Uh, Sheikh, I heard somewhere on the web, I don't, I don't know, maybe Islam Q&A, maybe Islam web, that who, not, who does not pray is a kafir. We said a gazillion times that this ruling is theoretical. I don't come to brother Ahmed, who's my neighbor or colleague at work, and cascade it on him by observing him and say, hmm, I haven't seen him pray for two weeks. He's a kafir. Boom, labeled him, stamped. This is not Islamic. So now, well, number one, you cascaded the ruling on your grandfather without any witnesses, without any interrogation, without asking him, without having a Muslim judge condemning him after interrogating him, that he's a kafir. This is error number one. Error number two. Now you want to cascade this ruling on him being a wali to your mom when she married your father. So you want to invalidate their marriage, which is cascaded on the other points, such as number three, you're not the legitimate child of your father, which means that your father cannot hug you or kiss you because yet he's your biological father. Islamically, he, you are born out of wedlock, which means that if he dies, you will not inherit him. You have to take hijab from him. And if someone wants to marry you, he cannot be your guardian. What is this? And this is the same mindset that generates, unfortunately, don't get this personal. I'm not talking about Dima personally. I'm talking about a trend among the Muslims. This is the same mindset that generates Khawarij, that generates ISIS or ISIS, non-Islamic state of Iraq and Syria, that generates people who give takfir and are prone to blow up places and people because of their twisted mindset. Had they learned Islam properly, and I'm again not addressing you, Dima, don't get me wrong. I'm just giving an advice for the ummah because this is something that is obviously growing among the youth. They pick up a word or a statement from a sheikh and they cascade lots of scenarios and they act upon it without going back to the sheikh himself. And if they went to the sheikh, the probably he would have scolded them for their approach and the way of thinking. So definitely 
all what you have mentioned in your question is bogus and baseless and you have to uh, erase it from your memory and move on, you and your mother as well. Wait, what did the mother do though? Um, it's interesting to first of all come across this video and the topic at hand and it's good he knows that today's youths, um, what can I say, the way we interpret things is just off. Today I can sit through a seminar of where someone explains to their level best of what something means but according to the way I want to decode that message delivered this is what I'm taking away from the lesson imagine thinking your father is not your father because he never used to pray it's I feel like it's a valid question you know if someone doesn't pray they are labeled this but now that he prays I feel like if someone changes their lifestyle then that's the lifestyle that you should focus on if someone was doing bad in the past and they're not doing good i feel like you have to focus on the good but this question that was asked by the lady is just not a religious question but a cultural one as well because there's some cultures that have the same same opinion of course they're not calling their fathers uh, as not fathers or something in those lines and many have uh, confusions I've actually had this somewhere you know and um, there is need for our parents to educate us more if not our parents whoever is educating us on such matters to expand more so that each and everyone grasps the concept of what's actually being spoken about so that we may not mislead ourselves so that we may not be misled or mislead our friends families whoever it is I feel like knowledge should be passed and sometimes let's ask let's learn to ask those close family members our mothers our parents to educate us more on topics that we don't understand or if it's a taboo to ask certain questions to our parents ask uh, someone that you trust you know someone that you know has knowledge on some of these things so yeah let me know what you guys actually think about this video if there's anything you want us to react to um let us know by giving us the link if there's anything that you want us to react to just give us the name or the link down below i'll be more than glad to react to it feel free to start the conversation down below by commenting and i'll be more than glad to respond to that if not me just you will so yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video